Hi, my name is David Weizmann and I'm the designer of The Little Sister. We are here at the BNG headquarters celebrating the fifth anniversary of The Little Sister. And I got a little treat for you. This is the original Little Sister prototype that I've made a couple of years ago. So I'm going to share with you the story of how it came to be. As some of you may know, I'm a jewelry designer by trade, and I'm also a music lover. So, how the Little Sister came to be? In 2011, a mysterious event took place. I saw Robert Johnson, I saw the famous photo of Robert Johnson with the uh, L1 guitar. And I thought to myself, wow, this is amazing. I mean, nowadays when we play guitar, uh, we use amplifiers, we use a huge stack of uh, pedals. And these guys used to play the Delta Blues using only their fingers and a small Palo guitar. So I thought to myself, I must get a Palo guitar and start practicing and, you know, learn how to play the, the Delta Blues, the original Delta Blues. So, lo and behold, the next day, I'm walking in Give a Time, it's a small city near uh, Tel Aviv, and there was this store. I saw from the window a small Palo guitar. I entered the store, it was a barber shop actually, and the guy, the owner of the store, was looking at me and he saw me looking at the guitar that was basically lying on the floor. So it had only maybe two or three strings attached to it. So I took this pair of scissors and I started to play slide guitar on, and it sounded amazing. So the guy was looking at me and he was surprised because you've never heard such, you know, a sound coming out of this poor old and broken instrument. So he said, you want this guitar? I said, yeah. He handed it down to me and said, this is yours. That was a life-changing event because I went straight home and became blues addict from that moment on. Around that time my uh, second daughter was born, so during those sleepless nights when I played the blues I started to think about a way to combine my passion for design and my passion for the data blues and music. Basically, um, historically, what they tried to do during the late 1930s was to create an electric uh, Palo guitar. Nine years later, I took this idea and uh, decided to start from scratch and to design something that would be both comfortable and will sound phenomenal. The problem was that I lacked the knowledge, so I went to the Algrenati School of Luthery, where I met my friend, Mr. Yotam. Kiki Goldstein and uh, we used to sit uh, during the breaks uh, on the stairs and play the blues. This was my first uh, project and during that time Kiki Goldstein and Elian Barashi started their own uh, small guitar company and they had this small workshop and uh, I used to go there to the workshop and bring those broken 1920s and 1930s uh, Paolo guitars from uh, my private collection uh, for restoration. And um, during one of those days I brought the little sister. Now, uh, one more thing, I named it the little sister after my second daughter, of course, for one reason. Uh, if you look closely, you can see that there is a missing piece of the fretboard and uh, this guitar is soaked with the blues. <laughs> Why? Because I was so tired during uh, those times that when I made the slots for the frets, I simply chopped off the edge of the fretboard and I've decided to leave it um, to commemorate the moment of those uh, sleepless nights. I brought the little sister to the workshop and they simply fell in love with this guitar. So after a couple of weeks, I got a phone call. Hey, listen, we want to start a new company, the BNG company, with uh, Mr. Avi Goldfinger, and we want the little sister to be our first model. So uh, I said, okay, though I was skeptic, because what I did was building um, a guitar with a baseball neck, a floating bridge and everything, so they decided to improve it and to make it approachable. And it took a year of various modifications for the guitar until the little sister was born. Mm. 
That was in 2015, and in order to celebrate the 15th anniversary, BNG created five special limited edition guitars, and we are here to show you the special features of these unique instruments. So what's so special about these five limited edition beautiful guitars? First of all, we have the Ziricote headplate, and then we have the Ziricote fretboard. Then we have the unique inlay, the diamond shape inlay, with the 15th anniversary inlay here. We have the inlay of the BNG logo and the floral pattern on the headstock. And we have uh, the tobacco sunburst finish on this beautiful maple top, which is similar to the maple tops of the first batch ever. And then we have the electronics cover with the 5th anniversary engraving. We also have the special uh, tortoise um, knobs for the tuners instead of the standard Ivoroid knobs. And we have the serial number. This is number 4 out of 5. Let's play!